Hey, welcome to another episode of The Final Stop. I'm your host, Daniel Bridgegad, inside of the Mezcal Manor. It's pretty nice. Over on the other side of the country, the old pasty motherfucker himself, the vampire king, Tristan Bowling. Hi. Always enthusiastic. That was like halfway Kermit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Hi everybody. The, yeah, dude. Over here on the uh, on the side table, per use, properly lit. In, uh, I mean, not coordinating colors this week, so that's good. It's Aldo Campagna and Andrew Oriana. Hello. What's up, babe? We're good, dude. Everyone's locked in. And as always, dude, we're not going to get through a damn intro without mentioning www.patreon.com slash final stop podcast. Look, man, every week we put out a bonus episode and there's this thing called internal affairs that I've heard's pretty hot. Tristan, I heard it's pretty hot. What do you got to do to get it? You got to go to the patreon.com slash final stop official and subscribe to the $10 level. Because we got bros. It's, it's a final growing stop army. podcast, by the way. Patreon.com slash Final Stop Podcast. That's what I said, right? No, yeah. go to the first thing I said. F- final Stop dot Patreon forward slash podcast. <laughs> Backslash. What you got to go to is Patreon.com slash members question mark. Membership type equals active <laughs> underscore patron. That's like a Reddit page. You're like, why is the Final Stop Patreon $105 a month? <laughs> Seat Geek bought the rights to it and shit. First uh, off, here we go. you guys have go to ahead. go to HTTP www <laughs> semicolon forward slash forward slash uh we're meet- only found on um what's the we're, we're what's on the republican search engine <laughs> what do you mean the republican search engine like linux There's a Repu- no 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 it's um fuck what's it called anyway that's not important you can't find the patrons on there they wouldn't dare go over there uh tristan start us off with uh the good old paul paul sweet boy paul uh star is played by seth rogan in the movie paul uh next person who do we got who do we got bro sex sex five exploder sex five exploder i want to meet this guy in real life because he really took a risk on the name but not the dollar what, what? <laughs> what's his name one dollar uh, dude it's it's j5 e exploder we said this the last time j5 el exploder one, el one dollar mcboolerino i, I mean, love us shitting on the one dollar level and then desperately begging for them to buy the $1 <laughs> level. <laughs> just Bro, because you want to be a part of that elite club that's really getting that internal affairs. Because we break down the podcast, peel back a level, and we do some fun shit on there. I cried. Don't worry about it. We um, take down the sign. Except sometimes. We forgot last time. But we usually <laughs> take it down. Shut up, all those smoke and mirrors. Don't blow the smoke out. Uh, 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 okay, here we go. Next up, bro. Edmund Two Plays. Edmund Two Plays sounds like a light-skinned kid who doesn't really know himself yet, but he's going to. Dude, Edmund Two Plays sounds like you're stuck on a Call of Duty level playing it on Veteran, and then you Google just how to do it, and somehow this 12-year-old kid, Edmund Two Plays, is just <laughs> waxing your ass religiously. It is complete. Edmund Two Plays speedrun is viral on YouTube. You're oh, yeah. Like, what the fuck? Welcome back yeah. to Edmund Two Plays. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to it. click that motherfucking subscribe button and like that, and turn on the bell notification for free. Your yeah. videos. Cue dubstep intro. <laughs> Just like flipping geographic shapes and shit like that. <laughs> oh, dude, that's fu- and it's all brought to you by like Medisco or something. Like just some bullshit corporate. Now sponsor. back to our sponsors. Better help. <laughs> now back to our sponsors. When somebody and calls you the N word in the game will lobby, you need better help to fucking. Bro, and if you and need a growing- game lobby to call someone the N word, raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> 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 Uh, dude, right down after Edmund Two Plays is the boy Chaz, night like that, solid, concise, one name. Uh, followed up by, dude, this sounds like, honestly, a, a horse I would bet on at the track. Uh, here we go, coming, uh, pet my goldfish, coming in lane number four. Also, dude. if you read them just back to back, it it's a beautiful tale of Chaz petting my goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> While Uncle Charlie D watches the whole thing, dude. Shout out to Charlie D. That's another dollar McBall we got. We got. Charlie D. Who do we got next? Thomas Smith, the founder of the Mormon religion. I'll uh, take the under on him being black. Thomas Smith. All right, here we go. Next. <laughs> I'll, I'll take we're the on, I'll take the under on, races, on not the horses. I'll take the under on him being in the witness protection program. That sounds like <laughs> <laughs> we got niggas on the run on the Patreon, bro. That's what I like. <laughs> yeah, keep, that sounds like someone who toes. got too chatty with someone who's just being like, "Oh no, I have to go to Maine." 
He uh, watches Internal Affairs to learn how to rat on his homies. Yeah, bro. Jeez, that's why he body he goes Internal Affairs. I could probably learn them from that. <laughs> yeah. And he found out it was just four dumbasses talking into microphones. He's like, well, I'm already here. He got in deep with uh, a. He got in deep with a. With a. What's it called? With a. Shit. With a. Never mind. I was trying to bring up Francois. Yeah. Uh, next is uh, Sweet Lady. Hopefully she'll pay more money one day. Haley, uh, that's pretty sick. Shout sweet, out to her. Sweet Lady, please don't make my friend drink again, Haley. One dollar McBaller sobriety sick, Haley. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. Shout Definitely out Haley. Definitely sitting right out of shot. One resident one dollar McBaller, Haley. What's good? Yeah, Shout right out. Right out of shot, sitting there. Oh. Uh, Christopher Hashem Williams. Christopher- I think if it's Hashem, you have to pronounce the Williams like that. It does, isn't Hashem Williams. Isn't Hashem when like, when like beef is blessed or something like that? That's Hashem, right? Don't don't call me out like this. I I, <laughs> I have to tuck my chain away if you keep doing this bullshit. So <laughs> I just, was about to say it's page. not it's not, but I like to watch you struggle. <laughs> <laughs> we save this next one for Daniel here. Uh, Roman Roman Groove. Um. <laughs> What is that? A fucking J, dude? Come on, dude. Grijalva. Bro, Grijalva. when everyone came off the boat, they got a nicer version of the homeland name. This is Roman. This is Roman Green. All right. Hey, Roman Green, shout out to you. Fucking. This is the guy that got Andrew Tate. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> this one, fuck? You think the guy that got Andrew Tate is watching our fucking podcast? I don't know. I kind of thought. I don't, you don't know who's on here, bro. <laughs> we do have Charlie D'Amelio. Dude, bro, that, that could be Uncle Charlie D or, or, yeah, Charlie D, like, give me in a TikTok. Let's blow up type shit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we got we got Trevor uh, yeah. Moore. See Trevor mm-hmm. Moore that pussy. Trevin Muncy. Not tre- oh, I thought it was Trevor Moore. Trevin Muncy. <laughs> yeah, it's Trevin Muncy. We've only had him for like eight months. You ingrate. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna read how much he's contributed because it shows you the total number to the right, but it's almost as much as everyone else know his name. Uh, <laughs> Keel Yulberg. All right, look, Keel. Here's the deal. Look. You've been a guy for a while. You've been you've been one of our bottom bitches, yeah. and believe me, I I'll, know. I'll have you know because I see the. I'll stack. have you know. I'll have you know. Keel recently sent me a photo of him doing a staring contest with a giraffe, nose to nose. <laughs> <laughs> so Bro, why tell- don't you why don't you back the fuck up about who's taller? It's not. It's nice to know we have intellectuals uh, watching our podcast. We do have intellectuals, and I definitely have a bigger shoe size than Keel. All right, next patron. Here we go. Ryan Sandy Beach. Ryan. I, say, Sand- I feel like we say that a lot. Ryan, likes Ryan to- son of beach, <laughs> son of a beach. Shout out, <laughs> shout out how I met your mother. Uh, Ryan Beach sounds like a place where you got to keep your shoes on. Yeah, <laughs> like, Ryan. I don't really tri- yeah, the needles. This, this is where you see old men naked. It's like, oh, yeah. let's let's go down to Ryan Beach and get drunk. Yeah, Ryan Beach definitely has an implied whites only sign out in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, and then there's Spencer. I mean, at this point, we're just trying to dox the kid, Francher. What's up with? <laughs> what's up with you? Um, best mullet in the game, I'll tell you that. And then the two bottom of the bottom, bottom barrel bitches. Who do we got? We got the first one, the man who shot me out of his penis onto this great landscape we call Earth. My dad, Brad Bowling, Big Harry Brad. Oh, I thought we were gonna say shout Shannon. out to shout out to Rad Dad Brad. But um, and then. Our bottom bitch, our number one, our sweet boy. Our number one top contributor. Our archangel. In and out of the family. You love him when he's here. <laughs> and Papa's I love- come to a couple f- f- football games. He's come to a couple, f- not all the football games, but that's because it, ma- it makes you want him more. But you know what? He came to state. But you know what? He was at the top of the rafters in state looking down. I, you know, I think he could see and was just like, you know, they're playing a good game down there. I'm proud of those guys. I'm not going to wait for him by the bus after the game with the rest of the dads because that'd be too consistent. But I'm proud of these guys. <laughs> I love it. How it's you Diddy. I love it. How you think about Diddy as like a half formed Mr. Potato Man. He's a person and, <laughs> and he has like he's a, a thick boy. He's dense. I was he's about a to dense say. Boy. <laughs> Diddy's a dense boy. He's, he's <laughs> Diddy will clap you up, Daniel. He has limbs. <laughs> It, yeah, Diddy could two, fuck up Keel and Daniel with one cane. <laughs> with one strike of the cane. Guess who's taller now? Me. You're on Bro, the floor. Bro, what if Diddy's really like Yoda? I keep talking as much shit as I do, and one day he just sees me and throws the shit down. Fucking, Starts flipping. <laughs> does a fucking off the walls backflip. <laughs> and it's like your set's mid as he's like running, <laughs> or as he's like running on the ceiling. <laughs> it's like what? Or, or either in the that. the background calling you a hack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Either that or he's like Darth Maul and he grabs the cane by the handle. Another cane shoots out the top of it. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
and just like, oh, yo, so moving around. But anyway, we can't make the whole podcast about the patrons. That's what you get if you sign up for the Patreon. Dude, we'll do a little riff about you. Make it, make your username fun. Use your real name. Do whatever you want. But we'll talk some shit about it. It'll be a good time. But anyway, we have some fun shit that we want to talk about. Dude. Uh, Andrew, bring up, the, bring up. Oh, here we go. Uh, Tristan texted us in the fucking group chat today and brought Brody back into the group chat for the first time in four and a half months. <laughs> Why, what made you think of this? Is it because there's so many of them in in, uh, in New York? No, it was a specific man. So uh, I was walking to my buddy Dylan's house today, and uh, I was wa- I got off the 6 train, and like right towards the entrance, there was just like a homeless guy, like like passion yelling. And like I got to hear what he said. He was like, what type of seed do you plant to make flour? What type of seed do you plant? And I, like in my heart, I knew it was wheat, but you can't say that to him. <laughs> no, the Be- way you said that sounded like a football coach. You were like, "What type of seed? A oh, real nigga, coach? A oh, real? Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what type of seed? Determination is the seed you plant it into the soil. In wheat, aka determination, again grows." <laughs> Termination, dedication, motivation, e- exploitation. What? What, was that? <laughs> what is a seed and what do you call pain? It's just failure leaving the body coach. <laughs> yeah. What no. did he say? No, but he was just sitting there, just like, he just kept on screaming it, just being like, what? He's like, what? How'd you get flour from a seed? How do, what seed do you plant to create flour? And I didn't have the time to go through the whole bread crafting process with him. But I, I wanted, it's like part of me wanted to go over to him and just be like, yo, like you want me to Google this? But I know he wouldn't be like, thank you for the answer. This is what Finally. I wanted. Yeah. Well, thank I could, you for informing me what yeast was. I had no clue. You have broken the spell. I in 16 years since I've seen my child, my children and wife. Now I will return to my house in the Hamptons. I am a, a rich his man. Back, like f- <laughs> corrects itself. He's like, finally. No. Nope. Tristan turned into the guy though, and now Tristan has to wait for another guy to come back and rescue him. <laughs> what kind of fucking paradox are you painting? Tristan's late to the podcast. Where is he? He's just on the six train. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot. I of- got lost on that riff. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I thought someone would help me out of it. All right. And that's how you know this is a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. It's a no, Tuesday. It's a, fuck that. We're up on a Tuesday. Get we're, up. We're, it's a club Tuesday evening. No, but uh, no, but it made me think because there is a, a, a distinct amount. There's like homeless dudes who like just kind of who have like a hustle where they're like making shit and stuff out here where it's just like, yo, I made a keychain. They're like, that's grass clippings. And he's like, no, it's not. It's a keychain. And like, or, or there's like the dudes who like hold the door open for you, and then like you you have to walk through the door. So when you're walking out, they're just like nothing for holding the door open for you. They and then you have to fight the man. I see how my, <laughs> I see how dudes could get rude. Like if that was constantly in my face, I completely see how guys could like. Hey, Dude. The fu- hey move, move the fuck out the way. Like, you just get that real, like, edgy. You don't like, got no furniture to move. Get the fuck out the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, shit like that. Dude, I, like, I fucking, I remembered, like, I don't think, I don't know if I told it about it on the podcast, but me and Haley were, like, the guy. We're the people, like, just behind the person getting full frontal crazy from a homeless person. Because, like, he was standing on the corner, and he was just like, yo, can I get some change? Can I get some change? And then we're walking past him, and he's like, I just got out of jail, and I need Fifteen dollars for drugs, and I'm just like, all right, all right, all right, <laughs> and I'm just like, he's like right behind me. I'm like, ah, not me, not me, it's not me. Like, I just got in before the fast pass cut off. But she, I need fifteen dollars for crack. Yeah, he's like, I need fifteen dollars for drugs, and I'm like, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it. Like, I just had all, all my laundry on my back. And shit like that. How is that? Have you gotten used to walking, moving around? Yeah, dude, I walk a fuck ton, man. I was like, I thought I was gonna get fat just because I would like intake a lot of food here, but like, nah. Oh, so there's hope. There's hope. Yeah, there's hope. Yeah. He if said, you, "Get fat." Thanks, bro. Yeah, no, you could, <laughs> Andrew. If you just like walked here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
You'd be... you're, saying, you're saying all that's left for him is the Forrest Gump, the country, all the, <laughs> yeah. all the way over to New York. That's fuck Jenny Craig, fuck Weight Watch, P90X, get to walk. It, you're going after nice Asics. You're going after a different Jenny, not Jenny Craig. You're going after Jesus. Jen, eh? <laughs> Internal affairs. Oh yeah, Internal you have affairs. a you have a Jen, eh? Watch hey, it. No, 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 no! Shut up! Internal Watch affairs. Internal Shit, affairs. we cannot talk about on here. We will resume on the Internal Affairs. That's the ten dollar level where I'm gonna rip Andrew a new one have for you the guys, bad decisions he makes in life. Have you guys seen Forrest Gump though? Yeah, yeah, it's fire, bro. Every time, every time Andrew is like goes to woodshed, he's just standing on the balcony of the Jenny scene, like. <laughs> the way that he went, dude, your real laugh is not that far off from the joke you were doing in transition. <laughs> your fucking Green Goblin laugh right at the end of that. I was happy about it. <laughs> Very seldomly do you do your real laugh because it sounds like you're haunting somebody. <laughs> <laughs> But when you do it, it's, it's not fine. very seldomly I do it. Very seldomly you make me real laugh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. I remember when we first heard it, it shook us to our core, dude. I got terrified. <laughs> no, I've seen you cut yourself off before. You're actively <laughs> enjoying yourself, and then you hear yourself. It's like waking yourself like, up <laughs> from a. <laughs> Dude, it's like so it's like waking yourself up from snoring. It's wild <laughs> as fuck. He guides people to a treasure he does not want to possess or other people to hear because it's quite embarrassing, actually. It's like someone stepped on a cat, dude. I don't know. I, uh, also, a side note, Andrew, you look <laughs> Andrew and Aldo, Aldo, you look like the army, and Andrew looks like he ate a Navy SEAL. <laughs> what are your plans after high school, son? No. I don't know. I kissed him. Dude, uh, wait. Are you going to kiss right now? Is it me? What? Is it just the camera, or does Aldo kind of look like Zelensky a little bit? <laughs> I refuse to wear a suit. Yeah, can the you? The worst part is getting roasted and not getting the reference. It's because you're, dude, we're literally, we gave away we gave away more money than the whole eastern part of the country makes in four weeks to oh. the Ukraine. Yeah, no, I know who fucking, I just didn't know him by first, I didn't know his name. Yeah. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. This nigga literally interviewed with Congress uh, in that exact outfit. Right I there. thought you were going to say Kanye. Isn't he an ex comic? I heard he used to be a comic. He was a comedian, yeah. Oh, shit. Bro, that's who's running that puppet of a fucking country over there. That's like if we just let. That's well, like. They're, they're no, that's just like, bro, hey, Bill public Ingvall, brother. do you want to run America? What the fuck are we talking about? Public brother. Public. Huh? Does anyone. Pull up a seat. I yeah, saw it. a goddamn public brother. You know what I'll say? No. I'm yeah, of course. Else. Of course. I knew it. Daniel sides with Russia in the when Russian. The weather uh, dude, outside is frightful. Da Daniel is the only person to root for, like, the bad guy in every Rocky movie. He just. <laughs> he just, he, and just he be just like, for whoever's bigger. He just be like, Cal Drogo has a better swing. He should have beat against Rocky, and I'm glad he punched Apollo to death. That's honestly. Bro, he's. He, like, He's younger, and you know what? You sign a contract when you go into those fucking four squares and the ref should have stopped it. That's on his conscience, all right? I'm just punching until I'm told to stop punching. Yeah, and all, you're just like, honestly, if he wasn't dead, we wouldn't get Creed. So, so. <laughs> we w Michael B. Jordan wouldn't be in the spotlight I, where what, he is. Yeah. You know? If so, facto, I'm right. You know? Like, what are we talking about? Are you guys going to see... I feel like... Have you, because I feel like we were all relatively medium-sized Marvel fans of, like, when podcasts began. Have you guys fallen yeah. off? Because I feel like I've fallen off so a little hard. bit. So hard. And, like... Because everything's on Disney Plus now, and I don't have that I just shit. watch the shows, and then the movies, I just watch the new rock stars break down. <laughs> you just watch people dissect, and just being like, oh, that's yeah. a good part of a movie I never saw. Yeah, <laughs> I, do, I do that. I do that with horror movies because I don't actually want to watch them, but I want to like get the references and like kind of know the plot. Dude, but I don't want to be scared. That is the fucking dude. Take all every. I, I'm gonna call every, every wing stop, alpha, every wing stop, and every fucking Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm demanding they serve you fucking boneless for the next 24 to 48 <laughs> years. That is the most. Bro, that's boneless. way more normal than you taking watch, acid and watching no. the. No, that is the <laughs> Watching biggest... Watching the ring? What are you talking about? That no, is, I'm on Tristan's side. That I'm is the Tristan's biggest side. pussy shit of all time. Watching the fucking film diagnostics of spooky movies because you could fast forward through the jump scares and it's only on your phone. It's not big and scary and the, like, on the and big the, like, screen. And the literal... 
and like to literal debatable horror movies too. Like uh, Jordan Peele's Us didn't trust it, so I watched the you know the breakdown on that. Got to see the best scenes by images, of course. No no videos. Do you uh, look but, at the the comments that tell you the scary timestamp so you can skip over those? Exactly, buddy. <laughs> exactly, buddy. Why? <laughs> I don't trust. Daniel, I don't trust the internet after that stupid car zombie video when we were like seven. <laughs> Do you know was that just was in the room with Taylor you, being like this? Do you want to know something, Daniel? Something crazy that's a true fact about that? That was actually a French uh, coffee commercial. They aired that in France. That wasn't like it wasn't started as just like a jump scare thing. Like obviously, like they took it from there, but like that in and of itself was just a French commercial. And that, that definitely is, killed a couple of grandmas. Yeah, that. Are killed, you fucking serious? Yeah, that was just a French commercial for coffee. That spawned a whole thing. And then do you remember the one, the follow the dot, where it was like the you yeah. follow the dot, and then like that was a jump scare. It was like yeah. in a game. It was and like, then and then Winda Blair from The Exorcist popped up. Fuck that, bro. And dude, oh dude, God, that I hated is, shit dude, like that. Honestly, honestly, it fucking looking at photo like I could watch The Exorcist day and night just looking at the photo of Wenda Blair gives me sort of like the gut bad feeling of going to a cabin that I was sexually molested in. Like it go <laughs> it gives me the feeling of just being like bad thing happened that cabin. Like I just Wait, feel do we that got a cut. What are we- <laughs> Do we got a cut? What the fuck was that? What, what is, <laughs> what the fuck was what's that? going on with this no. public episode? <laughs> So far, you said you've been molested, and Daniel denounced the Ukraine as a nation. What the I fuck just, is going on over I here? See you, you guys, guys are not going to talk about my country like that, okay? <laughs> yeah, Daniel I'm sick of this shit. The <laughs> no, uh, I just wanted to see how you guys would react. But I was talking about like it gives me the gut feeling of like just being like I don't know why I don't want to be that, here. I, hate I don't want to yeah, be here. I don't want to be here. I know I'm not safe. <laughs> like, I don't know who's around me. I know I'm not safe. <laughs> like, I don't know who's around me. There shouldn't be anyone around me, though. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, and if no, there is, that's oh, no. <laughs> nah, bro. There's bros that don't like scary movies that have definitely... Throw that in the comment, Diddy. What, which side of that are you on? Because I'll really take back some of the shit I said in the beginning if you don't like scary movies as well. So we'll just... <laughs> <laughs> throw Two some... sides of the same coin, huh? Dude, yeah, dude I love it how up. you fucking... You're sitting there just like, you know what? Diddy can come and go. Meanwhile, he can sit through Friday the 13th while you're just like, uh, uh, if I were a braver man, I would be able to go... <laughs> I could be able to go bro. through the spooky mask movie. Because look, bro, the, the emotion of fear should be reserved for legitimate like it's a safety feature it's like it's like using a fucking it's like doing drugs no yeah no not at all drugs and pair drugs and pair your natural i know like, but some of them are naturally created and then you're just like i'm gonna do this for fun that's what scary movies are yeah it's using your natural yeah, instincts and using point, it actually. for fun and you shouldn't do drugs either <laughs> then, <laughs> yeah they're drugs then what it, the, the, yeah you know what you're a fucking you're a, no, you're a scary no, movie no, addict Tristan, then you, this is no, your intervention no Tristan, that's the hey, the first step is admitting it the, the same, first step is admitting <laughs> no, that you have a scary same, movie problem the same Tristan, logic you're on drugs and this is how you start doing crack no the same logic applies to roller coasters are you saying that just because it elicits emotional response uh, does that mean oh, no. roller coasters? Daniel roller, roller coasters coaster. too? Ra- Daniel's afraid of roller, roller coasters, coasters? bone in wings. So anything. that means you're <laughs> so, so you're pro so you're pro Sea World then. I'm pro. Uh, listen, they didn't make a whale bone <laughs> roller coaster, and if they did, sick. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I hope that Tilikum one eats fucking everyone. I don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, if they pulled like Necro Shamu and like the fucking. <laughs> that you know, it's funny because. Bo- before the podcast, you compared your football training to Navy SEAL training, and now you're scared of roller coasters <laughs> and scary movies. <laughs> roller coasters, scary movies, and also loud noises, <laughs> loud, loud noises. noises. <laughs> the what dark. What did I say about the? <laughs> Dude, um. I'm getting good with the dark. I'm getting good. I'm getting better. <laughs> getting with the dark. With the dark. I'm getting better at the dark, dude. Me and the you dark. You are literally a four year old, bro. Me, and I'm getting good at wiping. Think, I'm getting good at the dark. Do me and under the bed, Navy, just smooth. Do you think thing. in huh? Navy? Do you think it, when you on your resume to be a Navy SEAL, it asks you if you're good with the dark? <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you cool with darkness? What? I didn't think that was gonna be. I thought we just kept it moving, stayed in the yo, light. The same thing of, multiple yo, the same thing a five year old asked before laser tag. That's what you're asking. <laughs> is it gonna be dark Wait, in here? It's dark. <laughs> How dark is it in here? Couple of questions. I'm getting ready to join the Marines. Couple of questions. First off, any any water? Not not really a big swimmer. Secondly, 
darkness. Don't really do well with that. <laughs> Loud scenarios. They're like, the fuck out of here, son. I think you're more equipped for airsoft, son. <laughs> I I just uh I just smoothed things out with the uh, under my bed guy like two three weeks ago, bro. It's it, it's not moving quick. <laughs> He's finally paying rent. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah, finally- I'm just gonna live under there for free, you fucking mooch. <laughs> yeah, he's been under there just fucking kicking things about. Dude, you you say you could be a Navy SEAL, but literally in any false break in, you have left your wife to the devices. Uh, some would say I captured the flank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some would say I took I fl- I was about to flank the hostile. Trust, uh, this is basic day one training. No <laughs> shit. Uh, sorry. Hey, shit. Excuse me, uh, excuse me, Corporal. It was dark, and I was not able to <laughs> <laughs> properly... Oh, I'm sorry. You see, see, if this would have happened in broad daylight, I would have been more aptly prepared to do something about it. <laughs> the only issue that we had when taking down Osama bin Laden is when we found out location, most of the time it was dark. So... <laughs> it, it was pitch black. <laughs> having, actually, having a, a October come and gone, all the Navy SEALs had a spooky movie marathon. And so they were getting <laughs> nowhere near the dark during that time. So Daniel would fail the Navy SEAL training during the spooky movie marathon at the end. Like you're telling me you like guys never celebrate. did the if you had to like t- if you had to turn a light switch off in a dark room, you wouldn't like turn the light switch off and then like s- like sprint out of the room. Or if you had to like run upstairs for it, like from a basement, you wouldn't. Dude, you know you what? You guys I, were just cool no, with the dark. No, Everyone no, was sick with the no. dark all the Mine time. Mine was a very different Mine experience. Mine was for a game. You're a pussy. You definitely had some sort of bullshit. We're going to get to the bottom the of that. The darkness is when the rats came back. Something. You had something. Dude, when I, was, when I was a fucking kid, I because I did that same shit where I'd turn off the light and run, but I'd turn off the light and run, and I'd run like four steps and then just turn around and swing on whatever is behind me. Because if it's you're right behind me. paranoid be- fuck. <laughs> no, because everyone runs. You no know, one- wonder your parents thought you were schizophrenic. <laughs> the Monster You're never fighting air. No, the monster never expects you to fight back. <laughs> the monster never expects you to swing. So if you just turn no, around, it's more like you. It's more like seven-year-old you has the confidence in your right hook to knock out a monster chasing all right, you. Just all right, all right. around, pivot. just an immortal demon being like, ah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're one. All right. Imagine this. Put yourself in a chupacabra shoes. You're chupacabra. <laughs> You break into some little boy's house. You're chasing him. Guess what? Turn around, pops you right in the socket. You're going to be upset, <laughs> and it's going to daze you. You're going to be you're stunned not, at least. You're going to yeah. be stunned at least. You're going to be. You're going to rethink. You're going to be like, well, am I a chupacabra in tonight, or should I just go back to my hole? You're going to be a real dis- disoriented chupacabra, bro. That's not what you want to be. You never want to be a disoriented chupacabra. <laughs> you always want to keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> Is it chupacabra? Everybody knows as soon as you're a chupacabra, you got to keep your head on a swivel. When, when when you pass the ball to the chupacabra, it goes downfield, often passing a lot of the other players. And once it hits the touchdown field goal zone, chupacabra all around. <laughs> oh, that's what we were doing before the cast that uh oh. that we saved. There's I can I we wanted to get back, bro. I feel like when Richie was here, we did because he's obviously like that's his bag. He's just a fucking. Uh, vocalist like that. His we did voice, accents a bunch. We... His voice is one of those pianos that you can change to fart sounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just on a dime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a fu- yeah, just a hip hop fart beat going on. That's rich. And we used to yeah. do accents all the time. I can do. You can do more than me, but I can yeah. do like two. And we were having a fucking Patrick Warburton off. What's your best? Uh, what's your best Patrick Warburton? Which and if version? you don't know who Patrick Warburton we'll is, he's picture. the guy from. He's the guy that voice acts for Kronk from yeah. Emperor's New Groove. Kronk or uh, um, Joe and Family Guy. Yeah, I feel like his the Kronk and Joe. It's weird because Patrick Warburton and like um, mm-hmm. John Benjamin both kind of do the same voice acting thing where they just mm-hmm. do their voice, but the way they put inflections on it is different for each character. Like, Cusco is a lot higher up. Well, like, uh, what's the other one Patrick Warburton does? Joe. Uh, Joe is a lot more, like, r- like raspy and stuff like that. And it's a lot slower, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Joe's lower. Hold on, Andrew, give, uh, give us a line, and we'll go, we'll go back and forth on it. The poison scene. Here. <laughs> This is such a fun. Let, 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 can you give me a little bit of uh, Patrick Warburton uh, Cusco scene? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you just you just throw that out? I don't know the fucking. 
You guys did it before. What's the crunk? Uh, and yeah, we we're just the saying. Cusco's poison. Yeah, I'm gonna play it right now. I'm gonna play it right now. Are we gonna get DMC'd by Disney? No, no. It's just for us. This is just for us. Oh, okay. I was about to say they're super cool about playing content. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh yeah, because uh, I do want to hear it. Hold on. Love there. it. That's what okay. you get. All right, go for it. You yeah. go first. I'll go first on. I'll go first on Joe. You don't get to do adaptions after you're like, oh, I gotta edit how he's doing. No, I got you. No, no, no I got you, bro. I'm, I'm Apollo Creed uh, against Drago in this one. I'm gonna die in the end. Just go first. <laughs> you're just planning your own death. Um, I'm gonna get fucking right cross right in my forehead. But it doesn't matter because Michael B. Jordan is gonna come back and play your song. Beat uh, your seeds, asshole, into the ground. Yeah. Um, your your weird your weird wigger Russian fucking descendant guy. I don't know what that movie was about. I have no idea. But uh, the thing about uh, Patrick Warburton is it's kind of down in the uh, down in the bottom of your throat. So you kind of have. It's got to You got to talk about Cusco's poison. It's the poison for Cusco. It's uh, a lot of poisons around, but this one uh, just for Cusco. The thing is, it's hard because you can't hear me because I'm far. And, like, you could hear it in the microphone, but I'm far from my laptop. So. No, I can hear it. We heard you good. Although the uh, the charger's behind the curtain, if you want to get that and plug uh, it in. Or there's one right there. You do you think Patrick Warburton would be honored that we're spending hard. Mentioning him. Hard crafted time on his voice. Bro, Cusco. Get the, uh, the, the, the poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Poison for Cusco. Uh, here, you need poison? Yeah, that poison. Here, it's uh, some more here. I miss that us. That was all right. I miss us talking about shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No, nah, fuck you guys. No, 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 no. I do one no, thing no, no, kind of no, all no, right, no. and now we're like, all right, we like going back I'm going to give it to Daniel. Daniel's is very good. <laughs> Thank Daniel's you. Daniel's is very good. Well, mine was 2,000 I, I give it to away. Daniel as well. You, uh, 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 fuck you. Thank you, Patrick. I'm Patrick. Uh, you're looking for Patrick. You're Patrick. Let's Sweet. do I'm Patrick Warburton. Let's you're do Joe it. Swanson, but we got to give a fun plot. Like no, jo- more, no more. Peter. Uh, uh, how about uh, this? How about this? <laughs> hey, how about this, Daniel? You're such a fucking savant, Mr. Patrick Warburton. <laughs> yeah, Patrick Warburton J O I, huh? <laughs> yeah, just uh, t- uh, take your take your piece out, play with it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you gotta, you yeah, gotta, just really, just you, uh, just give it a, just give it a little smack. Just, uh, you look, yeah, 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 take take it out, just like that. Peter, yeah. come here, just just. Just feel it. Just feel it. Just, just, just. Do you feel it? Just smack it around. Just, I, I, this, first this, of all, this penis, penis right here. First of all, great impression. Horrible J O I. What do you want me to do? J O I. Horrible J O I. Wait, uh, smack it. Uh, let me see. Fuck. Who's smacking their dick to jerk <laughs> off? You weird psychopath. Just uh, smack yeah. it around. <laughs> You can really get the blood like, flowing. Yours is like presidential, Patrick. Warburton. No, it's just John Madden again. <laughs> oh yeah, that was John Madden. I'm trying to Dude, figure John out. John Madden, J O Y. John Madden, J O Y. So what I need you to do is, when you pull out your cock, grab it from the tip. <laughs> A lot of people think that when you start jerking off, you grab it from the base and stroke upward. That's just wrong. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> And let you grab from the tip and peel back the base with revealing the tip of your penis if you have foreskin. And that's skin. just good fundamentals, it, isn't it? That's just the fundamentals of masturbation. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people skip over the fundamentals, and it shows in their load. Uh, wait. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Oh, so what God. you want to do? <laughs> Is peel back the t- the f- skin around surrounding the tip of your penis. Now I don't know if you're circumcised, but I am. John, John, now John, John, now look, I'm touching it, and John, John, and it's it's not moving. John, <laughs> John, now, I'm moving it like you said. I'm going up from the. I'm going up from the. I'm John. <laughs> John, it's not working. John, <laughs> are, are you trying to be? John, bad? God damn it, it's not working. <laughs> I don't know who you're trying to be. I can't, I can't do the screaming. I can't do the screaming Patrick Warburton when he screams. <laughs> yeah. I can't keep it together. Wait, I was trying to think of the... I'm trying to think of the... Uh, the guy from... Do you know... Uh, I think it's John Malkovich. Yeah. <laughs> what am I missing? Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> this guy's fat. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm crying. Oh, 
my god. No, uh, but the <sighs> guy. No, it's uh, the guy from a uh, fucking. Mandalorian. Tristan, you're fucking lagging. Tristan, <laughs> get off your fucking phone, please. I'm begging. No, I'm trying to look it up, dude. Uh, <laughs> no, it's the dude from uh, Mandalorian, the one who's like bounty hunting. Oh, the old German white guy. Yeah, bounty hunting is a very complicated profession. I want you to grab your penis by the balls <laughs> <laughs> and start ripping and tugging while you grab at your base of your cock. Then afterwards, bring me the boy. (laughs) (laughs) The child. Bring me the child. (coughs) I. (laughs) Yeah. Wait. Fuck. What's the? (coughs) What's the Mandalorian sound like? Oh no! I know (laughs) it. Yeah. You know, someone hit that in the sound room. It just goes, yep. Bro, it sounds like someone blowing up a toilet. It sounds like someone just a hand. It's like. You can you can hear how hard they're pushing. Like halfway through. It's like. Little, little, little. That's what it sounds like, bro. Little, little, little. It's the Mandalorian. Here he comes. And then here comes Patrick Warburton. <laughs> Isn't Patrick Warburton also the voice of Patrick? The no, it's a different guy. You think it would guy. be though? He basically I love it how it's it's Patrick uh, Patrick the Star, voice sounding like but not by Patrick Warburton. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love Patrick. <laughs> This is the dumbest character, bro. It's just a fucking walking around mentally impaired person that's friends with a fucking dude. Stop Why are you scratching your fucking your belly fupa. right now? What are you doing? I'm scratching it's a family my... episode. I'm scratching We're going to my... get taken down. I'm scratching my It's belly. red. It's Damn. red. Stop touching it. Damn. Yeah, the J.O.I. isn't what's going to get this episode taken down. It's Tristan's <laughs> somehow almost perfect, like the Nile River hairline on his stomach. Well, also, Tristan, don't, also look at don't the... just fucking. Look at Go my. Ahead porcelain complexion compared to my arm Look ew t- put that put that away Look you're fucking that. up the lighting yeah the camera can't even pick it up why is it red right there Be- i have he been, eczema he <laughs> you're a girl i have eczema and it's been acting up and i i have rashes that's why i've been itching because i got i got itchy parts on my body i got an itchy Bro, sit back a little bit, huh? Just, just fucking, just, just set her up, back up, lead away from the camera. Don't breathe to it. I got eczema. This guy should be in a bubble. I don't. Fuck, all right, what's the? Oh, here we go. You'll like this. You're a big uh, dork. Uh, pull up the uh, the thing I saw on Twitter today. Yeah, I got you. <clears throat> and we'll flash a little image of this. I was scrolling through Twitter because I was. I'm, I'm gonna watch Velma tonight, <clears throat> which is the new Black Velma, Shaggy's Black. Uh, Fred's still, of course, the straight white cis dumbass that he always was, if you ask the creators of the show. And then Daphne's Asian, because why not check that box? And, oh yeah, no Scooby-Doo in yeah. Velma. Yeah, that's that's a thing that, like, I, I don't understand. Oh, yeah. Also, like, so, isn't it? It's crazy. Like, big. speaking of Big Mouth, while it's on this, like, dichotomy, first off, I've never liked Big Mouth. I always thought it was kind of annoying. Whoa. The, oh, this whole on. list is all fucked. But that's what I'm saying. The, oh, like, so I was, read wait, off the list. Read off the list. So I was, scroll, so I was scrolling, and, and before I was going to watch it, I saw this on uh, Twitter, and it was a list of cartoons that audiences universally hated. And I disagree with almost 90% of Fan this. Fanboy and fucking Chum Chum was yeah. a goddamn what? banger. They're hating on they Fanboy have my Chum nigga Chum? Caillou on there? Fuck off. Planet Sheen. Was gas. Johnny I Test. I don't care what gas. anyone has to say about Johnny it. Johnny Test. Gas. Johnny Test was good for the time, but it is a little bit like I'm an 11 year old boy and I hate girls in my movies. Right. Okay. Messy. Now there's a couple like the Powderpuff Girls remake. You can go ahead and kick rocks with that bullshit. Teen Titans Go did. Trash. Did you also just say Powderpuff? <laughs> Kid, do you want to hear huh? a terrible joke? I just thought of. <laughs> do you guys want to hear a terrible joke? I just thought of. What? Yeah. Do you know how in Johnny Test they always like went the trades? It was like whoopsh. It was like yeah, whoosh, the transition, whoosh. the whip. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like uh, Johnny Test had more whip sound effects than Twelve Years a Slave. <laughs> Whoa, it did. <clears throat> but no one's gonna know that reference unless they're dorks like we are. Nah. I, I don't know. Maybe you they can are. make a good assumption off the name. I'm not gonna lie to you. Whoosh. 
Wow, that's not bad. What were your thoughts on? Uh, let's see what else they got on here. Teen uh, Titans Go gas. I disagree. Teen Titans Go was mid. No. Compared to regular Teen Titans, it was in the shadow hard. For a spinoff continuation, it's in the upper echelon. Now, the big one that Tristan was talking about, you don't know oh, like Teen Titans? Dude, Teen Titans fucking sucks. And like Teen in Titans, general? No, Teen Titans Go sucks. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's... It was, it's for children. That, I, will say, I will say there was so some was like, the other one, and it was it, fucking but, gasoline. Eh. That's not an excuse. And Raven was fucking bad. I you can't honestly. Yeah, but it's, oh, yeah. No, but it's, it's so a show for children when you're so, 19, dude. So was Avatar. Th- there's a difference. So there's was a difference Ava- when you're. So was Avatar: yeah, Last what, Airbender. So was Avatar. Yeah, but Last you Airbender. didn't see it when you were 19. That's the point I'm getting. I didn't. To. I saw it when I was coming up, and when I was coming up, exactly. I saw that. Listen, I, I saw, saw that shit. That's the point I'm talking about. How old were you watching Teen Titans Go? A bit. I have a younger brother. Yeah. So you were watching it at this age. Yeah. And you still think it's good? Gas. What? Uh, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's it's not great. What, what about sh- Big Mouth? There's so many. There's so many big names on that. You don't like the humor in that, or were you a person that like watched the first season, liked it, and then like didn't watch the rest? I like, no. Well, you I, know what it is? It's, I watched it's the because first... it's alty. It's trying to be oh, alty. Wow. It's fake alty to Tristan. Nah, it just it insists upon itself. It's like it's. What did it, I just say? No, no. It's like it's in the sense of like, <laughs> shut up. I see the head shakes. I see the head shakes. <laughs> No, it's not the matter of it being some sort of fake alty. It's like, if anything, it's like fake edgy. Like, they're just like, oh, we could do this and do that. And now we could draw this. And isn't this weird? And Stop building blocks. I see you. Why are you doing I'm not. I took Dana. one thing Dana. out and then just put another thing that Dana. happened to fit right in its place. Right <laughs> yeah, I mean, from three. Andrew, Andrew goes, watch. Tristan's going to think it's too alty. And then you go, from three. it's edgy. It's, 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 you said it's. Like into itself or something. Like you no, know. you, you, you're you're a barista that's like actually I work with ice cream and coffee and all of other bakery stuff. But it's like no, you're a barista. You suck you're dick. a vegetarian and this shit's vegan. You're pissed about it. You're like, <laughs> what the fuck's going on? First of all, vegetarians can eat still eat vegan shit. If anything, that's more exclusive. But uh, <laughs> no, not a club you're trying to get into. What a dork! I hate <laughs> this kid. All right, dude. Uh, we're back. Uh, a bit it of was technical a difficulties. Couple of technical diffs. It was that uh, we kind of called in the beginning of the episode, yeah. but uh, you'll never hear that. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about because I wanted on this. Uh, MLK Day was yesterday, a couple days ago, something like that. Last week for them. Yeah, yeah last week, and uh, I had to work. I was hot. Did you have? Did you have off? I don't have a job. That's right. I worked. You're you're the immigrants. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's different. We they, we get off on she, Cesar Chavez. Day. Yeah, they don't give a shit. No, we about, don't. About, no, we don't. No, no we one don't. gives a fuck about that day. They just got some boulevard in South Phoenix, and that's about it. <laughs> Bro, they gave SA a day. No way. <laughs> First Friday takes priority over Cesar Chavez Day. Uh, I was Dude, hot, for though. the My longest black, time. For the longest time, First Friday took precedent over fucking MLK Day. We just started celebrating that like twelve years ago as a state. Like Bro, it's so it was weird. Fu- well, I thought I thought I think Arizona still doesn't recognize it as a uh, federal holiday. Like it's not a like there were st- okay. So I drove into my my work and I park in the like the bottom level of this parking garage, bro. And yeah. I walk, I drive in, no one's there. There's like eight cars there, and it's all the people that work in my office. And I get up there, and I'm like, everyone's kind of looking at me too. Like there was this weird air of like, we're sorry, we're here right now. <laughs> 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 so I just sit there all day and watch people just be like. Nice, uh, nice weather we're having. We're just all over Twitter is either like successful marches or protests that ended in fire. But either way, MLK Day is popping across the country. And I'm just sitting at my desk just like mad as hell. And my black uncle calls me up and he was like, hey, yo, bub, you want to come over? We're cooking ribs or whatever, like chocolate shit he said. And I was like, yeah, I'm at, I'm at work right now. And he was like, ain't that a bitch? I was like, yeah, they don't. They don't give a shit, bro. No Juneteenth. No recognition of February. No nothing. Just deadline. That's so funny because Haley works at like a woke company and stuff like that. So they give her like a week and a half off for MLK Day. Like, and shit <laughs> like that. It's fucking it, retarded, bro. I was it, mad as hell. Public. It's the back. <laughs> That's true. Only the true, only the true warriors have made it this far. I wish the algorithm would scrub this far back. Fucking try it. Uh, they, um, no, they can and will succeed. No try. No, actually, it's a, <laughs> They've it's been a, fucking us for a while. It's artificial yeah. intelligence. Doesn't get tired. Reads the whole thing in record time. We should we should just dedicate the end of every episode to reading everything trending on Twitter out loud. Just to, hashtags? Yeah, just to add it in the tags. 
That'd be pretty fun. It'd it's be like, like reading the Patreons, but it's just like shooting in Russia. Uh, yeah. Banks. Banks. All about banks. Which I just did think about. We're going to throw that at the end. This is a little bit of uh, internal affairs right here, but we're going to throw that at the end. What? It's going to help with uh, retention. Throw what? what? Because it's, cause it's funny. Reading the Patreon names. Oh. It's funny. Uh, now that we did it a couple of times, now that we did it a couple of times in the front... I'm really stealing this. Yeah, but that his- should be like a speed fire. Around. I'm really stealing this from History Hyenas. They built a fucking army off this. They would do it at the very back end of their podcast, and they would read all the Patreon names, and it incentivized you. Even if you got bored and didn't want to listen to the whole thing, you would scrub all the way to the very end. And it does wonders for the algorithm because people are watching the end. It takes the algorithm. is like, you thought you were a slick bitch? Watch me make fun of uh, a 12-year-old gamer tag for five minutes, and it go well, and it throw the back end. <laughs> That's I don't remember what his name was, but if we read that at the last half of the podcast, crush. We did go pretty hard on Edmund Two Plays. Of course your autistic ass remembered his name, Edmund Two Plays. I, I nope. might subscribe. I don't know. I was about to say, they share a Minecraft world together. <laughs> <laughs> He's on my Minecraft realm. You're a dork. We have our beds next to yeah. each other. It's pretty serious. I am pretty deep into Dude. Assassin's Creed Odyssey right now. So sorry. Dude, I've been fucking... I've been playing Elden Ring uh, a lot. Which is like been a true fun. virgin, but dude. First of all, if you wish you could play Elden Ring, you play Assassin's Creed. Elden Ring wishes they could hold fucking anything Ubisoft did ball sack. So suck off, dude. Literally, I think I think Elden Ring out. Fucking Watchdogs. Watchdogs would fuck up Elden Ring. What are you talking about? Nah, you never even played it. First <laughs> off, because it's too hard, and you're Watch a baby, Dogs? and you like baby games. No, Elden Ring. I played all. Oh. No, yeah, bro, you haven't played Elden Ring. for pussies. First of is all, that... Witcher's all better than everything else. Don't bring that into this. The no Witcher's one... better than everything else. No one asks for CSGO. your Reebok of fantasy worlds. Fucking can, okay. can take that somewhere else. Nike and Under Armour. Are we talking. sleeping on Rocket League right now? Oh, the... Come on, guys. Jesus. Rocket League. Every I'm a champ, I'm a champ fucking... three now. I'm a champ three. What does fuck that it. mean? That means I'm the top 3% of it, uh, Hot Wheels soccer, soccer players dude. in the fucking world. Rocket League is the LaMelo ball of video games. Yeah, fucking Rocket League sucks, dude. You know, there's a reason Minecraft tried to put Rocket League in the game. That's why it's in Fortnite, too. You know what I'm saying? It's a pretty big deal. Rocket League? You Fortnite, just just a, Fortnite at this point is just a marketing company. Yeah, that's I was all about it say, is. What, what is incestuous thing has Fortnite become? Where it's just like, man, Rick from Rick and Morty just got shot by an anime girl <laughs> in the Rocket League. <laughs> don't, don't you remember the whole Thanos mode? Where you could just be Thanos for like the well, whole fucking game? No, that was fun. Where it went downhill is when they added Star Wars. The Thanos thing oh, was yeah. cool. It was the first like... But then, because the, it didn't change the weapons. You just got to be, there was a separate game mode. And if you wanted to be Thanos, you could be Thanos. It, you had to be like selected. It was still random and it was one guy. Then they added lightsabers. And they were like, all right, everyone can have lightsabers. And we're like, wait, 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 wait. That's a, that seems like a big jump from one guy's Thanos to everyone has the force and now lightsabers. You're like, what is this? And then yeah. it went. I'm pretty, sure that, I'm pretty sure Emily in Paris is going to be in the next Fortnite update <laughs> oh Brittany grinders in the next Fortnite update you know the travis scott thing was kind of an event though yeah that was an event you remember that oh the travis scott concert that was an event Fortnite x frazier i want to see <laughs> <laughs> i want to see frazier crane in the Fortnite universe is that the like, next map update is gilligan's island <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> that would be tough they that should be just, uh they should just that should be our goal bro. let's just get in Fortnite. the final stop Fortnite. Andrew can nah. look like fucking Tito personified. You would broke. That's the most you? you can sell out is yeah. starting a Fortnite lobby with your fucking podcast. It doesn't get any lower than that. <laughs> That's a thing people do. Oh my god, the twenty dollar final f- scar. What twenty dollar level? How does that work? How does that work? explain? You pay twenty dollars and you watch us lose Fortnite matches. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like we start a lobby that you can join and play with us if we're in it. Because that, that would be us, cool. Richie, and Brody. You don't think and Diddy, no. Diddy would no, no, Diddy but I'm hop. saying like if a bigger person did that, like let's say that like Logan Paul starts a, a it, you just have to oh, buy yeah, your own server domain. domain. That's what I'm thinking, right? Someone starts a. Maybe we should cut this. We, should hold, we, should <laughs> we hold cannot this. cut this. Maybe we we should need hold more time. this until it gets giant. We need are you? Are you hey, Daniel, are you inventing the idea of a LAN party? A bunch <laughs> of people play. <laughs> A bunch of Do you people mean one Nick? communal server that you need a passcode to get into? I think it, Halo One perfected that in 1998. Fuck. Do you, do you mean? At, do you mean at home split screen? Yeah, as long as you're on the same. No. Like, do you even, mean a private AOL chat? You're like, God damn. 
yeah, let me, introduce, first. let me introduce let me introduce let me introduce you to iMessage if you yeah. haven't seen that before yet. <laughs> yeah, let me introduce you to some guy's basement in 1997. He's doing everything. <laughs> he's doing everything you wanted him more, man. He's playing fucking Quake with 19 of his friends in sweatshop environments. It is fucking <laughs> musty Dude. and trashy down there, but they're Have you seen fucking that? grinding. There was like a picture of this CSGO land party in a room that was literally flooded to the knees and the kids were yeah. just sitting in chairs still playing Counter Strike. Yeah, I saw that? one Yeah, I saw what one is where Counter Strike. Like, CSGO oh. is like a first person shooter. It's great. Yeah, is it, it it's only basic... PC? Yeah. Yeah. Why they did made, they not they, make it for Xbox? Because it's, they it's made like a one sweat for game. Xbox. They made one for Xbox. They did it flopped, way back though, when. right? Yeah, like in th- first 360. What does a sweat game mean? Like only fucking like, like you. Just... It's like honestly, I have two thousand hours in the game, and I'm one of the lowest ranks. Oh, so Dude. it's like dudes get crazy. That's what Fortnite yeah. became, bro. Yeah. Fortnite because of the building became a sweat game. It's just fools that like you shoot one bullet. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> no, I look mean, up. That guy rolled up his pants. Look that up. That guy's uh, shirtless. He's like, it's flooding. Let me take the only part of my clothes that will be okay. Dry but imagine off. clutching in that room. Imagine losing it, to this fucking guy <laughs> in, your, in your goddamn apartment with Dude, AC the and thing hot is, water. The thing is, you'd get fucking destroyed by that man. <laughs> like, this, this is what we were talking. This is what John John Madden was talking about when he comes to dedication. You know, this is all this is determination. Have. This is everything yeah, for them. Zero this pussies is touched in that one room. Peeling man. back the foreskin on gaming. <laughs> <laughs> that's the epitome but, that those are the kids who sit in the arenas when they're not in the arenas that's what no they're look up no look up uh also andrew it's l-a-n it's a uh, l-a-n it stands for like local access network or for like yeah land party but also oh. there's one anyone anyone who plays primarily on a pc to me is has reached and has attained a level of dorkdom you can't come i've back only from. played on a pc i've never used a console i never no think look you up were a dork. congratulations <laughs> look up. i'm just saying bro pc games are cool they're really fun. pc games fucking rule but uh both of you are no. dorks and that's okay have you ever mm-hmm. broken a six minute mile yes i have uh, i ran a 530 in high school 545 I got a world record in Portal. You're not a PC. Uh, <laughs> I know, but he came no. to defend us. Look up a land party. Uh, look up land party. Uh, tape to ceiling, because that's one of my favorite uh, photos from a land party. Tape to ceiling. Yeah, that guy. That's how you fucking oh, game, so, dude. So his, so like his, <laughs> feet, his legs wouldn't fall asleep while he was playing. <laughs> no, there was no more seats. Oh my god. <laughs> That's, that's that's a lot. Nuts. They taped him, dude. But imagine that man's the, the leverage sniper he has right on there. the controls. Can imagine someone show me just a clip what the graphics controls. look like? Can someone just show me what like the? Because this. Well, this is also from like 2002. I know, dude. They're playing the new... literally. Wait, click in, click on that photo because I I think they're playing World of Warcraft, like real shit. Oh, well, can someone wait? Can someone show me CS:GO what it looks like? Because I want to oh, see what horrible. I want to see what real gamers are fucking. What like well, top look, tier uh, fucking virgin? Andrew, dude, click dude. on dude. click on the photo. The story of duct taped uh, gamer. Like it's a whole article. Yeah, it, it takes it. it uh, yeah, hold on. D- I does also it say the game that he's playing. Fine. Um, <laughs> just I really, I can see it's uh, CS:GO. Dude, wait, oh, wait. I want to show Daniel what CSGO is. Look up Louis, DK, Louis C.K. <sighs> B-Site Clutch. Oh, I'm about to get so mad. It's a, it's, it's a short YouTube clip. Oh, I'm gonna no, you'll, so Louis, mad. or not Louis C.K., what am I saying? Sorry, Stewie, Stewie 2K. Uh, Such a different name. I'm gonna that's the same ring to it. Stewie so 2K uh, B-Site Hold. This is, I'll show you the, e, this is the most hype CSGO esports clip. So you'll see the, you'll get to see what, what like the audiences are like too. I've that's seen the this. first one. I've You've seen it, dude. I, I, I watched this fucking the day after it came out. I was so hyped. I got hype as fuck to this. Full screen. Full screen. Full screen this. We can't play this. This can't go on YouTube. Dude. It's it just not? people randomly switching to knives and going into a sniper rifle and exploding someone. Those are my people right there, dog. That is nuts. 
Dude, dude I tell me that didn't you give a, you chills. That was I could, hype. I could show you a random highlight from a from a preseason Tuesday night football game that puts that shit to shame. Yeah, but what these are, are fucking. But about? these are fucking gamers, you know. So it kind of yeah, makes it hype. Yeah, they're lesser like, people. What makes it more <laughs> exciting? <laughs> it, um, it's the same cool. thing as big guys it's, doing hype shit. It's. Yeah, it's also the fact that it's a video game. Really? To get that much excited. Tell me the you know, first video that pops up of big man what? doing. You're, te- you're telling me if you go to you go to waste Dude. management op- waste management Daniel. open, you're not going crazy. It's almost as entertaining as that. Daniel, almost as entertaining Daniel. as that. That's a sport. I know, the most Daniel, boring of said sports. That is that is in the Olympics. You what? Did. Tristan's what? been what? trying to barge what? in for like thirty seconds. The whole reason right. why it, the so. pizza's ready. The whole reason why <laughs> le- like. Uh, no, the whole reason why people are so hyped, it's masses. It's the amount of people sitting in the seats. Like, if you're at, like, a house party and you start playing Fortnite and you do good, there's, like, a video of this dude who is, like, I my buddy, to a house. My buddy used to do that all the time. He would, We would have a party at his place, and he would just sit down on his PC playing Fortnite and winning. No, and, like, if you have it on, like, a large screen, people will gather around and watch you fuck people up. And yeah. And just be no, like, no. oh! Yeah. Like, That's exactly it, what was happening. Yeah, it's no, just I'm like, not denying that's an event that happens. I'm saying it's so much sicker to be just the cool guy not playing video games at a party. What what are you guys not seeing here? And, but I mean, he's pretty jealous. cool if he wins. That guy got pussy, so I don't know what your argument is. So did the tall guy with muscles and a tight shirt. You're missing No, the he didn't. Point. That guy was fucking his girl. Okay, but how sure. many V-Bucks does that guy Shout have? out Charlie. I don't, yo, what are we talking about? Shout out Charlie the dog. Dude, I think I'm excited to see esports doing well. I think it's cool. I think They're it's trying to give these niggas scholarships and take away from real athletes. My that's school has an esports team. I'm, that's what, an atrocity. What's going to get you more heated? Title IX or esports athletes taking your scholarship money? Now, that is a great question. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a wow. great question if I have ever heard one. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, fucking Title dude, IX or Asian see, kids in the locker dude, you room? See, Ooh. I was about to say. Ooh. <laughs> you want to see quick twitch? Watch this. It's the best <laughs> twitch around. I'm so mad, dude. That's me We're headshotting whole... someone. That's a 360 you know no scope. Because we take full, uh, we take full athletic department pictures at the beginning of every year, and it's like all the sports teams. They all we all go on the football field, and the football teams in the middle because we're the biggest, <laughs> and then everyone like centers around us. That means in 10 years, at some point in that picture, there's going to be a small colony of Asian kids sitting on like the left corner no. of the One that day picture. there's going to be a big colony of Asian kids and four black guys on the side. That's and those the future are the esports guys. See. And those are the esports Carpool guys. Carpool tunnel is going to be the new ACL tire. <laughs> Just you fucking wait. Once Counter Strike takes off and another, another Stewie 2K behold like You're that. A fucking dork. It's oh fucking over God. for you, Daniel. It's fucking over for you. No, yeah. dude, I just hate it. They couldn't use a different. I would like it if they didn't use the word sport, especially for games that aren't even. I could see when you're playing Madden. Technically, that's an e-sport. Niggas are playing Counter Strike. What the fuck are we talking about? This is kind of like you're basically doing the he she them debate. Yes, about fucking use the proper esports. <laughs> although. Although I may have to cut, that was a great point. We may have to cut that out. <laughs> it's for sure not getting cut out. We don't uh, have enough time. Thank you, because Andrew. I can't fully make enough of a point with the time we have remaining on this program. So I don't have enough time to say random shit until I get an idea of forty-five seconds into gibberish. <laughs> That's how you crack the yeah. code, my boy. <laughs> I'd like it, the assist on that. It, Just setting that whole thing yeah, up. Yeah, cool. Daniel does the Daniel does the talking version of buffering while Aldo. Does the <laughs> going. <I> just circle. <laughs> That is how I go into it. Sometimes I'll say a thing, and I have no clue what that thing is that I think I'm trying to say. And then halfway through the thing, I'll I'll, I'll come across the end. Yeah, but you should you should it's it should it's not esports. It's an e war at best. E skirmish. I'll give you that. Why does it have to be an e anything? Really, that waters down e girls, which I quite like. So what who what are we talking about? <laughs> In the first one. What was that Are fucking... you telling me Taylor has cat ears in the closet? Dude, the way you switched into a fucking virgin, <laughs> which I like, actually. Those are pretty yeah. nice. Uh, I do like e-girls. I, I bought like some e-girls. of that bath water. I like full, bo- full body pillows of Asian we got chicks. And I girls. hate roller coasters and scary movies, because that's what a fucking man does. I need does. boneless so got... wings, and I can't wipe correctly. E-girls, e-sports, and E-A sports. You know? <laughs> oh, it's in well, my ass. Oh, I'm fucking gay. What's up with this generation of kids that are gay? Let me just put this EA Sports up my butt for no reason. 
Yeah, you get mad sometimes. I like when you speak up. Sometimes you get over there and get a little quiet. A little I don't. Quiet, it fucking yeah. shocks me, and I have to adjust the levels. Oh, very I know because I start hitting dangers. Tristan, Andrew, or Andrew got fucking so like just beautifully roasted today by Aldo because sometimes he, oh he, he, he's God. autistic and doesn't know words hurt people, and he <laughs> or called, when to stop when called, someone is clearly begging them to stop. He called he called Andrew an eater today, but like not as the punchline <laughs> in what he was saying. Just part that was of the, the setup. Sentence. That just was part the of the setup. Sentence. He just blew by. I was it. saying I was saying that Andrew looks like he really knows how to lift the hard stain because Wait. he's an eater like to yeah. get a stain out of a shirt he was making fun of him that he knew how to get a stain out of a shirt easy first he said it because he was fat and then andrew took offense and he goes like what dude you're an eater you probably definitely know how to get he was like eater was even like the main point also the kind word for that is foodie not the eater. <laughs> you know, you're a fat, fat, fat sack of shit who shovels. <laughs> you yeah. But Andrew's not even a foodie because he's fucking the, picky, so he's just an eater. Eat, <laughs> eater's the yeah. D three version of a foodie. You're an inha- you know they have a word for I'm it. I'm the it's NAIA an inha- of foodies. No, you're you're an, in, you're an inhaler. That's what you are. You <laughs> just sit there. Fucking. You sit there with Big Macs and. <laughs> the f- just a vacuum, dude. Fucking uh, dude. If they made cheeseburger vapes, I'm all over that. Would you? And you see, this is I'm, why it's not my fucking fault. It's a fault. bit. It's a, I'm no. doing. A, I'm leaning into the bit. You, you know what? I'll, you know what I'll give you is sometimes, like if, if no. you had a really old cart back when I used to smoke carts. Sometimes I used to think it would it would taste like dill pickle, and I'd kind of like it. So you yeah, get hard. If, yeah. <laughs> I get. I get. I get hot. Andrew. I get, <laughs> huh. Andrew, do not do not look me in the face. And say first of all, I'm looking you dead already, through your glasses. I look, yeah, I'm looking you dead in your dead eyes. You I meant be, it as a bit. No, I'm saying you would be the number one stockholder of savory vapes if they were available. <laughs> if this you one's get, sizzling bacon. <laughs> this one's just salt. <laughs> this one's <fajitas>. yeah. <laughs> it's just five percent meatball flavored. <laughs> this one's eighty percent lean. <laughs> Yo, vapes that taste like other drugs. Ketamine vapes. Oh my god! Aldo. All right, bro. What the fuck? Although he was talking, talking about? about ground beef. Why don't you go skate in a parking lot somewhere? What the fuck? I'm the gonna. Thing? I'm He's gonna talking about ground beef, episode. not the thing that took out Mac Miller. Okay, relax. No, nah, that was that was fentanyl. I love Mac Miller. Anyway. R.I.P. the goat. Bro- we're about at time. We're at time. We're, I don't yeah. even know how much time we've been doing, but we're at time. Probably a long one. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow all the boys. All of this shit will be in the description. If you watch this if long, you, you want to be. If you could say one thing to Mac Miller, what would it be? <laughs> Ariana Grande's Mexican, bro. <laughs> I'll we'll see you guys. I don't, I thought I'll, was I'll get be, back to you on the next episode. I thought Tristan. I was going to do better. I, I was going to say gonna a slur. I'm going to need to write a poem for that. I think you guys are going to laugh. We're going to taper off no. the episode. No. Ooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> we should have <laughs> Andrew close this one out. Nah, All right. Boy. Somebody else take a big swing. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> do you know what I would say? Good night, America. I would say join the Patreon. No, that didn't work. All right. No, dude, just cut it. Page. Just Someone, cut yo, it. Dead, we're all missing. Dead on arrival. Someone, cl- yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Join the Patreon slice. or don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell Mac Miller to join the Patreon. That's what I would do. All right, I'm cutting it. <laughs>